I am a storyteller. I'm basing my entire career off writing stories and I've got three ways to tell this one. Except that's not the point of this, so no. Clichés! And as I wander through these twisted halls of high school and life, I can't help but realize the world is not a wish-granting factory. That's good. And honesty. I don't know what honesty is. But I am going to give a valiant effort. I have a hole in my tooth and the dentist is shut. Maybe this is a sign that I'm all out of luck. Not that I have much of that in my life before. At least my teeth were okay when my gums were so. It's pretty nice to resort back to film as a medium of storytelling. Hey, hi, hello, my name is Megan. It's Megan. Hello, my name is Megan. So, hey, hi, hello, my name is Megan. I breathe every ounce of myself into these losers and their life. But there are times when I'm forced to step out of this and realize that there's more good to me than this. I just don't really know what that is yet. Until I find out, I'll keep talking about what I know best. Patience. More specifically, patience in relation to school. Artists were never programmed to thrive in high school, and every artist I know has been negatively affected by public education in some way, shape, or form. I'm not saying it's all bad. It took a toll on my speaking. It's not just about school. It could be due to environment. It could be due to genetics. Regardless, um, school had a big part to do with that. It made me reclusive and scared and anxious and terrified of failing. Tomorrow, I am going to some workshops that my college has set up for admitted students day and none of us are going to be afraid of messing up because we've all done it so many times before but you're not supposed to fail within school walls so what do you do you wait you keep your mouth shut keep important things buried in the back of your mind while you solve polynomials take care of yourself but only when it's convenient of course then go out on the weekends and try to create something that has significance this doesn't apply to everyone there are people i know who think that the pinnacle of their life is high school, and that's fine, but I'm not like that. I'm a firm believer in the idea that these four years are a pencil dot in a sea of graphite. And when you're done turning in worksheets and copying homework and persuading your teacher to let you go to the bathroom for the sixth time that week, then you do the important shit. I haven't gotten to that point yet, so I can't talk much about it, but I do know that when you make your own choices, that's when the magic happens. I told myself I wasn't gonna put any quotes, but how vain it is to sit down and write when you have not stood up to live. Henry David Thoreau. Next, I'll talk about irony. I filmed this part in my car because I thought about it when I was in my car. I remember seeing this post on the internet once talking about your colorblind artists and your partially deaf musicians and your athletes who are missing a limb and your um, verbally incapable storytellers, aka me. An ironic situation is not the end all be all of your dream. Irony is such a funny thing. <laughs> the storyteller can't tell her stories with her own voice. Oh, I am at my house. Also, uh, the creator, the creator damaging their creating tools. I had a really bad habit of uh, hitting brick walls when I got mad. I don't do that anymore because I need my hands for things and I don't want to mess up my hands. They're already so small and bony and I, I crack them like a thousand times a day. I don't know. Irony's a really funny thing. You ever hear about people with speech impediments who sing like angels? Or the rat with culinary expertise? Have a passion that radiates out of you so brightly that people have no choice but to ignore the irony and associate that light with you. That was gay. But so am I. So the last thing I have on my to overshare list, contrast. I filmed two things at two very different times. One I filmed during a bad month. The other was a voice recording on my drive home in the rain after a really, really, really good week. Watch me constantly contradict myself. I don't even know what I brought my camera out here to say. What am I, what am I trying to say? Just, I don't feel real. What am I feeling right now? A pure happiness and gratitude. It's, I... it's not that I don't feel happy. I just, I feel very robotic. I am able to shut down on command and not care about anything or anyone. When I'm upset, it's a beautiful day outside and I don't feel like going outside because I don't want to go outside because I can't make myself get out of bed to go outside. When I have these, these little episode episodes where I don't want to get out of bed for like three days. I... Is, it's shit outside. It's gross and disgusting, but I am not gross and disgusting and my friends are not gross and disgusting. It's hard finding a point to what I do. I've never been a good talker. When I'm actually talking about it, like it's hard to make the words come out of my mouth. But that can change. Nothing is ever, ever, ever static. And my voice 
is my voice, and it's not quiet, and it's not awkward, and it's not stupid, and I need to quit telling myself that everything I do is wrong, because not everything I do is wrong. Alright, I'm a scared block of oily cream cheese who doesn't know how to say my words right. But all I know is that everything that I am saying right now is a reminder to myself that when it gets bad, I can feel how I'm feeling right now. Painting galaxies and creating something more than what I'm doing with myself now, but I don't know what I'm doing with myself now. Stories are the most powerful things that I can tell as an artist. And goddammit, I'm gonna tell mine if it kills me.